I've been on various startup journeys myself and you know you have highs and you have lows can yes. you, you know, would you like to sort of suggest what your highest moment your best moment at Mumsnet was and your sort of worst moment uh, you yeah. don't have to answer either of those I mean you, you know that, there's but, uh, sort of there's kind of personal things and then there's you know I mean for me very early on when we started our forum, I had multiple names and I was posting questions and then changing my name and answering questions. <laughs> and for me, I think one of the highs was when I no longer needed to do that. So I actually rather ruthlessly got a friend of mine who was pregnant, who ran me up and said, I've got these palpitations, did you have that? I said, I'll ask, answer your question, but can you ask it on mum's net, please? So I felt a bit guilty and rushed on to answer. And lo and behold, someone else had peer, appeared out of the internet. Not. So there yeah. was a kind of mini high, and there are lots of highs and lows. I think, you know, the 2010 election was christened the mum's net election by the media, and that was quite jolly. Amazing. Because it sort of propelled us into, I mean, it was hectic, yeah. but it propelled us into a space of, you know, you were being transformed into this kind of media world that, of, of mass, of everyone wanted a piece of you, and that yeah. was quite fun. Yeah. But there have been lots of lows too, <laughs> as you'd imagine. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I suppose the most obvious one, the most difficult time was when we were being hacked by um, a kind of bunch of people, a bunch of sort of anonymous type people who, um, who you know, did a multiple range of things, the denial of service, hacked into our database, released passwords, did a data dump, you know, it was just kind of one of those awful times when for a while we didn't know how they were doing it. So, uh, and trying to handle the fallout from that, be very transparent with users, to try and keep their information safe was the hard, definitely the hardest. And then they sent a SWAT team around to mine and some mum's netter's house as well. So that's called being swatted. I'm officially the first person in the UK to have been swatted. Uh, it's not pleasant having six armed policemen come around your house with police dogs and uh, you know think that you've been murdered, <laughs> which is what they thought. So, so what's the background to that story? Is it, uh, it was just, it would just kind of, it was the sort of part of the same hack. It's kind of something, unfortunately, that happens quite a lot in America. Um, I think gamers started doing it to each other as a laugh, um, but um, it was all part of you know teach those mouthy women a lesson basically. Do you do you feel that that that, that hack was to do with sort of anti-feminist? Was it an anti-feminist hack? Do you think, or it was more just people? I think it, to, what, some what of was it, the motive? Do you I, think? Some of it was that. I think yeah. it was complicated. So we someone had um, trolled our board. And um, mum setters are rather good at detecting trolls and they have very little terror for them. So they got kind of vaguely humiliated and then drummed up a kind of, let's get them betchers type thing. Um, and, you know, look, in the long run, it's useful. Our security is much, much better. And, you know, one would never say one was perfect ever. Um, but we're alive to it in a way that we weren't. Yeah.